Okay, we're going to start off with Photoshop. <clears throat> and then, uh, first of all, in the artwork here, we're looking at the checkerboard in the back. That's a clue that we have a transparent background. So if we have the artwork set up with transparent background, it makes it a little bit easier to work in printing these dark shirts. <clears throat> now, if we go over here to the layers, uh, what eventually what we want is we want the one layer with the artwork and two different layers, a black one and a white one. So what we'll do is you first click down here and start up in two new layers. <clears throat> so one of them we're going to go ahead and fill with black. So we'll go over here and the black is selected, go to the bucket, drop in the black. Go back over here and if you switch this arrows right here, you click on these arrows, the white will be on top so we can use the white to select this layer here. Blue right here indicates that's the layer you're on. So now we got this uh, arrow, this one here that has no color. We're going to go back to the bucket and we're going to drop in the white ink into here. You might not see it here because the black layer is on top of the white, but if you look over here you'll see that it did turn white. So now we've already got two layers that are already named, so I'm going to go ahead and delete these two to the trash can, get rid of that one, and get rid of this one. So now we have a white layer and a black layer. If we turn on the white layer, you'll see it show up. And if we go to File, Save As, and name it, drop down to a TIFF, <coughs> uncheck layers, and we want to name this one uh, the white background, click save, and then we'll turn off the white, turn on the black, see the black's in the artwork now, and we're going to go file, save as, go to TIFF, uncheck layers, and we're going to name this one the black one. Okay, now we're done with Photoshop. We're going to have to bring up a uh, fast artist and we're going to have to bring the artwork in. So now we're going to go to File, Import, and we want to bring the black one in first. Doesn't make any difference which one, it's just a little faster if you bring the black in first. So we're going to bring the black one in and then we're going to Import and we're going to bring the white one in. Import. And click here. So now we have both designs. If we go to edit, uh, select all right here. Now we have both designs selected. Go down here and where this wizard hat is, click on it once, and then go to this first wizard here and click on that. Now, what we want to do is we want to make sure that the white underbase is on the background, is on the left side and the black one is on the right. If they're not, you just click here and put them in the right order on both sides. And we're going to click Next. Now we want to have a choke on the white so it uh, chokes it back. Five is normally a pretty good number. Um, now you can do change these. You really don't have to do anything. You can click here to load. Here's a heavy and here's a normal. The only real thing that they change is if you go to the normal one, you'll see this go to zero. So that's your two options. You can pick each one. Maybe do a couple prints on shirts and see which one looks better for you. <clears throat> now I have it here preview mode. I have it white on black. So it has the white ink. So you kind of see if you do it the other way, it's reverse. It's kind of hard for me to figure out what's looking, what's going on here. So if you do white on black, and then so we can kind of see how much white ink we're going to get on that black shirt. Now we're going to go next and overlay highlights, overlap highlights. We're going to keep that selected. We're going to go to next, and this is going to show you how much more white is going to print on the second pass. So it's going to print color and some more white on that second pass. And we're going to go finish. Once it finished, is this one here is selected. That's the one we want to keep. So we can click on this one with the black and go up to edit and clear. That one's gone, and we want to keep this one here. And that's pretty much it. Uh, my key I don't have in here so it's going to quit on me. Um, then you'll just send the file onto your printer and you're good to go. And that should do it.